Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bharati. I am a pediatrician. This is Dr. Bharati's Kids Care. I welcome you all to this channel. With the incidence of skin cancers rising rapidly throughout the world, sunscreen usage is no more optional but is mandatory. There are so many sunscreens available in the market and often you will not know which one will be safe on your little one's tender skin. Let me now tell you the points you should remember before choosing a sunscreen for your kids. Point number 1. The SPF SPF is nothing but the sun protection factor. We all know there are three types of UV rays, the UV A, B and C. Of these, only the UV A and B rays reach our earth's surface. Both these rays together cause most of the skin damages. SPF is a measure of how much protection the sunscreen offers against the UVB rays. For example, if your bare skin will develop sunburns in 10 minutes of sun exposure, then a SPF 30 sunscreen will protect your skin for 300 minutes if applied properly. That is 30 times more protection. In general, SPF 15 blocks 93% of UVB rays, SPF 30 blocks 97% and SPF 50 blocks 98% of UVB rays. Recommendation is to use a sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 15 for kids, but ideal would be to use a SPF 50 sunscreen. There are not much additional benefits beyond SPF 15. Point number 2. Spectrum of coverage. An ideal sunscreen is the one that offers a broad spectrum protection against both UVA and UVB rays. PA rating is something that indicates the protection offered against UVA rays. Ideal would be PA2 plus or above rated sunscreens. But most sunscreens available in the market do not come with a PA rating. But you can choose a sunscreen that either has a broad spectrum label or a PA label along with SPF rating. Point number 3. Water resistance. Sunscreens usually come with 40 minutes or 80 minutes of water resistance. Choose the one with longer water resistance if your little ones have a tendency to sweat a lot or his outdoor activity is something like swimming. Point number 4. The type of the sunscreen. There are two primary types of sunscreens, chemical sunscreens and physical or mineral sunscreens. The chemical sunscreens contain certain carbon containing chemicals like oxybenzone, oxynoxate, avobenzone, homosalate, etc. They absorb the sun's UV rays and convert them into heat by a chemical reaction and release the heat from the skin. The physical sunscreens contain natural minerals like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. They act just like a shield and reflect the UV rays from the skin. Let us now see what is the difference between these two types of sunscreen for you to choose the best one for your kids. First point is that most of these chemicals protect only against UVB rays. To achieve a broad spectrum coverage in a chemical sunscreen, more chemical components are needed. Whereas the physical sunscreen reflects both UVA and UVB rays equally, so they are intrinsically broad spectrum. Second point is their safety on sensitive skin. The chemicals in the chemical sunscreen can naturally cause some allergic reactions, particularly if the skin is sensitive. But the minerals like zinc are generally very safe even on sensitive and tender skin like that of kids. Next point is their absorption into the skin after application. Chemical sunscreen reach the deeper layers of the skin. Sometimes they are even minimally absorbed into the blood. Whereas the physical ones just stay on the surface of the skin and nothing goes into the body. Since the chemical ones penetrate into the skin, they do not form a white layer on the skin. So they are cosmetically superior. On the other hand, the physical sunscreens form a dense white layer. But as far as kids are concerned, this shouldn't be a big problem as they will actually look much cuter with that white coating. Since chemical ones need to be absorbed into the skin, it takes some time for them to start working. So they need to be applied 15 to 20 minutes prior to sun exposure, whereas the physical ones start their action immediately after application. But for the same reason, the chemicals are not easily washed away by sweat and water, whereas the minerals that stay just on the surface are easily washed off by sweat and water. Frequent reapplication will be needed. Another point of concern is the hormonal effect of these chemicals in chemical sunscreens. In a few studies, some of these chemicals are identified to be hormonal disruptors at high doses. In fact, sunscreens containing few chemicals like oxybenzone are banned in certain tourist destinations because of their negative effects on the underwater ecosystem, whereas no such effects are seen with the minerals in the physical sunscreen. After seeing all the differences between the two types of sunscreens, it must be very clear to you that physical sunscreens are preferred over the chemical ones in kids. But remember one thing, sun protection is the priority. First choice has to be a physical sunscreen, but if that is not available, instead of having an unprotected sun exposure, it is better to use one of these chemical sunscreens. 
Many people particularly organic lovers prefer using natural oils for skin protection over sunscreens. Certain natural oils like coconut oil do offer some protection but they are not good enough to filter out most of the UV rays effectively. As you can see the SPF ranges from 2 to 7 in most of these oils which is much below the recommended protective levels. It is okay to use these at times when the sun's radiations are not very severe as like before 9 am or after 4 pm or when the duration of stay is very minimal or none of these sunscreens are suiting your child's skin. As we already saw, something is better than nothing but not on a midsummer day. The next common doubt is, can all kids use sunscreen? All kids above 6 months of age who will be exposed to sun must use sunscreens. For babies under 6 months of age, the first thing to do is to avoid outdoor activities between 10 am to 4 pm. If unavoidable, use a physical barrier like full clothing and a wide brim hat and only over the exposed areas like the face, an SPF 15 containing sunscreen can be used minimally. Remember one thing, just 5 episodes of sunburns under 18 years of age is more than enough to double the incidence of certain skin cancers like melanomas. So make sure to protect your little one's delicate skin from radiation damages by applying at least an SPF 15 containing sunscreen all over the exposed areas of the body including the ear lobes and back of the neck. Apply 15 to 20 minutes prior to outdoor activity if you are using a chemical sunscreen. Use water resistant ones if the child's activity involves water. Apply generously. Recommendation is to use 1 ounce to cover an adult's body. Kids generally require half of that. If the amount of sunscreen applied is halved, then the protection factor is square rooted. That is an SPF 30 becomes just SPF 5.5. Reapply every 2-3 to three hours or even early if your little one is sweating a lot. Remember one thing, sunscreens are not singular protective barriers against skin damage. When used along with proper clothing, playing under shade and avoid peak radiation timings, you can protect your little one's delicate skin from damages. For complete sun protection details, watch our summer health tip video 1. The link is in the description box. Thank you.